Hello and welcome to a 4PSA tutorial for VoIP Now Professional. In this video we will show you how to set up caller ID for a phone terminal extension in VoIP Now Professional. We are logged in as the administrator and looking at the management page of the extension. To access the settings page you'll need to click on the phone terminal setup icon in the tools area. Here we can start with setting up how caller ID name is displayed in public calls. You can select one of the three options from the drop down list. The first option you can select is set by server. If you choose this option, the phone terminal of the extension you are calling will display the extension owner's contact name if it supports caller ID functions. In the case of this extension, the name is user1. The second option you can select is set by equipment, in which case the phone terminal of the extension you are calling will display the contact name of your extension as set by the phone device. Finally, you can select set by user and you'll be able to enter a custom caller ID name into the text box. The caller ID name you have chosen will be displayed by the callee's phone terminal if it supports the caller ID function. The same options are available for setting the caller ID number in public calls. So when you select by equipment, the callee's phone terminal will display your extension number set by the phone terminal you are using. If you choose to set by user option, you'll be able to set a caller ID number to a custom numeric value with three to several digits which the callee's phone terminal will display if it supports the caller ID function. The last option is set by the server, in which case callee's phone terminal will display the public number as set by the server. If you choose this option, the currently using caller ID number box will be enabled. The numbers you see in the box are the ones defined for the channels used by routing the calls to public destinations. From here you can choose one or several caller ID numbers that will be sent when your extension is placing a call. The caller ID numbers currently in use for public calls, if any are available, will be displayed in this box. The default number is displayed in bold characters. To add a number, click the change link. A pop-up window will be displayed allowing you to manage the caller IDs. It is important to note that system can send the caller ID name set by the server and the caller ID numbers set by the user or vice versa. If you don't want your caller ID details to be visible on public calls, just enable the Do Not Send Caller ID on Public Calls option here. You can also send public caller IDs on internal calls by checking this box. Next we have a feature called Preserve Original Caller ID on Transfer Calls option. This is useful when your extension gets a call and then transfers it to another extension. By enabling this option, the extension that receives the transfer call will be able to see the original caller ID and not the caller ID of your extension. When you're done, don't forget to press the OK button on the lower right hand side of the page for the settings to take effect. And that's all there is to setting up caller ID for a phone terminal extension in VoIP Now Professional. Thank you for watching. If you have any suggestions related to this tutorial or VoIP Now Professional, please let us know.